uh, a lot of the land that you manage, as we've discussed, has all kinds of natural resources on it, and oil is obviously available in, in some areas. And when one considers that uh, as early as, let's just say, uh, early 2007, say January 2007, I think the price per gallon was around 230. It's now 340 on average and unfortunately seems to be heading up. So it seems pretty clear that we need to go after uh, that oil. Now, when you look over the decades, the uh, the technologies that we have available to us for going after that oil has improved pretty dramatically. You don't have to do as much damage to the environment as maybe you did a decade or two decades or three decades ago. Sometimes I think it's a fact that gets lost in, in, in the discussion. We've put whole areas like Anwar, for example, where we have 16, 18 billion barrels of oil off limits. And, and uh, so getting back to the, the technology, um, could you discuss briefly uh, whether or not uh, the technology has gotten better so that you can go after those resources in more of an environmentally friendly manner than you could uh, in previous years. Congressman, I'd be happy to. Uh, as many of you know, I worked for Secretary Kempthorne when he was governor, and he tells a story that I think illustrates what's happened with drilling techniques. Um, at those times, uh, Idaho does not have any oil and gas production, but we are set next to a state that has tremendous resources, uh, both in Utah and, and uh, Wyoming. And uh, he likes to tell a story that if he had understood how oil drilling and gas drilling were going to change over the last few years, uh, particularly with offset and angle drilling, Idaho would have been an oil state. <laughs> but there have been tremendous changes in that. What you see now, even even in the last four or five years, what you see now uh, with regard to technologies compared to what happened before has allowed us to make huge changes in how we regulate these people. Now, instead of one well uh, from any pad, we're seeing wells uh, of, from 30 to 36 wells from a single pad. What that means is that's 36 pads less that have to be used in order to develop a resource. You've seen a... Uh, transition over the last few years, uh, not only in the technologies, but also in the planning that we do, where the agency is, because of that technology, able to considerably lessen the impact of those areas where we do have oil and gas development, the latest being uh, uh, in Colorado with our own plateau. That will have, we think, minimal impact as we go forward. Okay. And could you discuss uh, the lateral that you were referring to, just in layman's terms, what we're talking about here? Yes. Where we, in the past, for oil drilling, uh, you had to set directly over the hole and drill straight down, or nearly straight down, in order to get to the resource. Primarily because of technologies that were developed offshore. Those technologies are now being applied onshore, and uh, what they're allowing us to do is to do offset drilling uh, even uh, uh, a mile away or two miles away. Uh, I think it will it's quickly getting to the point where from a single spot you can radially drill from that and reach many, most, a lot of the resources that are available in these fields. This has tremendous implications for, for wildlife and environmental because you don't have to be out there it's not only the drilling that causes the problem, it's the transportation, it's the utilities, it's all the things that you, where you have to go out and run to individual wells. Essentially, the new methods of development, we're not allowing that. We're requiring them to drill from these central sites. Uh, all utilities have to be underground going to that central site. Uh, of course, all the wellheads are in one location, so all of the support facilities are in that location. So it's, I think, a tremendous uh, improvement in how development's occurring in these areas. Now, there are, there are some resources that are not conducive to that, but most of the major resources are. Okay. So just to make sure that it's clear what, what you're saying, if, if this table up here had oil in various locations, uh, rather than disturbing uh, the environment at the surface level in a whole 
bunch of places and digging a number of well, a number of uh, drilling sites. You could have, for example, this one site dig here and then go under the ground in different directions, only disturbing this one area and not all around this place. Is that correct? Congressman, that is correct. Okay. Thank you very much.